Hi everybody, it's Mark Wood here on What Did He Buy Today, the Amazon review show here. And today we're showcasing another high cool product. Now this sells on Amazon for $149.99, which is a really, really good value for something that other companies sell for 300 bucks. This is the high cool 360 degree panoramic 16 megapixel VR action camera with a 2448 by 2448 30 frames per second ultra HD 360 camera. Now as we showed you in the last time we reviewed a high cool product here on what did he buy today? It comes in this nice box which shows you all the features that are available with this device. Tells you all the specific uh, technical specifications on the back of the box. And it also tells you all the different types of shooting. You can do panoramic, you can do virtual reality, so you can use this in your headset. You can also use this as a panoramic camera, square, spherical camera, and other type device. Now we had a chance to play around with this, and in a moment I'm going to uh, show you some uh, video on my devices here that what we shot, because it has to give you more of the virtual reality. The thing that really, really was really difficult to make this a buy or a don't buy, but in the end you'll find out what we chose, is when you use the camera alone on the software on the mobile device, there's no way to export. But I contacted the company in Highcool and uh, the staff over there was really, really great to explain it. And if you put the SD card in this camera, it gives you a link on a Windows directional and all you have to do is download the Highcool software to your computer. and. Uh, if you want to find out how to do that, just drop me a message here on YouTube or email me at mark at wood-media.com and I will explain to you how to do that. But you can do that right here on uh, the YouTube page. It's a lot easier to get in touch with me here on YouTube. So let's dive right into the camera. Like I said, great packaging as they usually do. It comes with all the great accessories like you saw in the other high cool in the, in the action cam. You get your helmet mounts, a lot of other mounts, a spare battery, wrist straps, adapters, the famous USB cable like we see all the time, tripod mounting, lens cleaner, other mounts. These are all regular standard GoPro mounts that you can use pretty much on any GoPro mounting kit. Um, you get your manual, explains how to use the camera. Like I said, really simple on screen display. Um, camera pretty much works right out of the box. Um, you can just take it and go. This one comes again in the Nice underwater housing. It's a simple camera, not that big. Little LCD screen here, a 360 degree camera lens. Four buttons on this camera. We have two in the front, power and the record button in the back. These are two up and down arrows. Comes in a nice underwater housing. Now, this camera is also really cool about this camera is the ability it can be controlled via Wi-Fi. So if you want to throw this on a tripod, you can easily just throw it on a tripod because it comes with a tripod mount installed on the bottom so you can record this remotely. So you turn the camera on by pressing the right, right button on the side here. You'll see the screen turn on there. Let's see if I can, there we go. So there it is, the sports camera. And I'll take a look here if I can, there we go. So this shows you the different mode that we're using. It tells you I have a TF card in there. It has a, a little bit of a battery. I have here the resolution of the video, what kind of mode I'm shooting, the peripheral video, and other things. The Wi-Fi button is here. That's how you're gonna do Wi-Fi. Now to change it to photography mode, here, that's the recording button. I'm recording it by pressing that button there. And then to change the video shooting mode, you press the power button. Now we're shooting in camera mode. So if you want to just take pictures on the go. And then you have slow motion. A lot of really cool stuff you can do. It also tells you how much space is left on the SD card itself there. Settings menus there. Pretty much recording on an SD card tells you the battery, the frame rate you can see there. Pretty much simple. Now let's show you the Wi-Fi mode that's built into this camera. Wi-Fi mode is great, so if you want to set this down and forget it, you can do that. You'll see there it is, the Wi-Fi password and the name of the device. So I'm gonna put the device down. I'm gonna grab my iPad here. And I'm gonna unfreeze this here real quick so you guys don't have to see my password. And I'm gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi. So this is my iPad. I'm gonna to connect to the device, which should pop up here in a moment. X360 camera. I'm gonna put the camera over here in the corner and we are now connected hopefully to the X360. Yes, we are. So on your mobile device, you can use an iPad, iPhone, Android, and any, any standard device. You can choose the X360 app 
and uh, the XPV360 app will load up here. Now, what's cool about this app, like I said, has a lot of cool features. The only feature with blacking is the ability to upload direct from the app, but I'm hoping the manufacturers are listening to the customers and they're gonna take this under advisement and try to change that. So basically you see here, this is the 360 camera. So I'm in the shot there. You can see us recording this on our little office here at the uh, Wood Media Studio. You can see me recording this. There's the wall, there's our little desk accessories. This is our office here, so you can see me there. I can do loops. I can see complete 360, so you can look up, down, and around. Remember, you can't look down on the camera, because if I look down over here on the camera, you're only gonna see the base of the camera. So that's why you really can't see down. But that's like a really cool mode if you wanna like do some video here and record me like shooting down and go, hey everybody, it's me looking at you. And you can hear our office dog, Lexi, in the other room here barking away. Probably the mailman's here of some sort. So this is the software that allows you to view what you've recorded. Um, you can pretty much see photos and videos. Um, the cool thing is, like I said, you can view them on the device, but it's better to get them on the computer and convert them to VR. Um, the reason why you, it takes a lot of work to actually do this is um, this software takes a lot of processing. And if you want to upload to YouTube, or to Facebook, you need to insert it into the PC or Mac software to convert it to have the MPEG codex. So the only way that they can read it, it has to do metadata and 3D. I would not even try editing. So I'm gonna show you some video that I've shot on the camera in VR. This is me riding on my commute to work. We're gonna play it on YouTube here. You can see here that I'm riding to work. We're waiting, we're on a bridge here. This is pretty cool. You know, this is on my motorcycle. You know, we're shooting around. You can see me driving my bike. Here's a little street light going by. Let's see if I can find a better, a better mode here. There we go. So you can see some action shots here. Let's see if I can get it a little closer. There you go. So you see that it's just shooting some video, shooting down Main Street here in the local North Shore area. And uh, that is the video. The video quality is pretty clear. I gotta be honest. I'm really impressed with this. Uh, I cannot wait to use this more and more as summer gets closer here in New England. But that's the video there, and this was put on YouTube using the computer software. You just gotta export the video as a VR. You can also export it as a panoramic if you're into shooting panoramic photos. The photo quality is really good too. Um, this is the video that I uploaded to YouTube, and this video was shot at my work. Many of you know I work at a museum. So you can see here that this was a dance performance. Let's see if I can get rid of this Facebook. Facebook has so much garbage that you don't even need. Um, as you can see here, this is some video that I shot at my work, and it's pretty clear. You can see that there's a girl dancing right there. You can zoom in on it. She's dancing around. You get full panoramics. So there's our atrium there. Beautiful atrium. You get full panoramics if you want to see. Pretty clear. Pretty clean. And if you actually look at it on a, on a VR headset, it looks really, really nice. It actually gives you a good uh, 360. Um, photography mode's pretty good. It's really high resolution. I think it's a device that you're all, you know, for the first attempt at VR, this is my first exploration of virtual reality. Um, I'm really, really excited about where this technology is going to go. I cannot wait to use this on vacation this summer. And you guys can check me out here on what did he buy today on, uh, here on YouTube. And, uh, we're going to upload a lot of that content this summer. All the plugs and the outlets and the SD cards, like on the other high cool device are on the side panel here. I have no fingernails, so I probably won't be able to get this open. <laughs> there we go. So you have all your adapters there. You have the uh, SD card slot there, right there. You have the USB and the mini HDMI. So you can actually plug this right in. There's the lens, there's the buttons, panoramic screen. Really one button and go. You can literally just press a button, put that on stage, and you're all set. So that is our review. Now here's the part of the show that everybody wants to know. Do I recommend this product or don't I recommend this product? Um, to be honest, give it a shot. For the low price of $149.99, like I said, Amazon does offer great review, uh, return policies, but for the great price of $150, to get your feet wet with VR and to have a little fun, this is definitely a buy. I'm really excited about it. Maybe in the next edition of the software, they're gonna make the ability to actually export right off the app which would be really cool make it a lot easier for everybody to do it on the mobile so when i'm on vacation i can upload some videos in vr right on the way but vr is a new technology and like i said it's a it's a great product so this is the high cool 360 panoramic hd 60 megapixel vr action camera if you'd like to purchase the product the link is down below 
Comes with a lot of great accessories, as all do High Cool cameras. And uh, like I said, thanks for checking us out on another edition of High Cool. This is the High Cool VR. This is not the edition, but this is the What Did He Buy Today Amazon review show. And uh, this is the buy. Thanks for watching.